is he? Strange smell. You smell like something. Are you? It has to be. Shoot him! What are you waiting for? Remake's really good. This is my second playthrough on the HD remake for MGS2. Um, they did a great job of putting it on PS3, though. Hold on, I'm not an enemy. Calm down. Like the loading times are faster. It's just smoother. My name is. My it's a whole bunch of good stuff. Pliskin, Iroquois Pliskin. Lieutenant Junior Grade. GG Diesel Butt. Are you a Navy SEAL? How did you get in? Fast rope descent from a Navy chopper. Lies. Have I seen you before? That suit. Are you Foxhound? That's right. Foxhound was disbanded. Huh? Where were you before Foxhound? Delta Force? I was part of the Army's Force 21 trials. Force 21? That's about tactical IT deployment, right? Any field experience? No, not really. So this is your first. I've had extensive training, the kind that's indistinguishable from the real thing. Like what? Sneaking mission 60, weapons 80, advanced VR, huh? But realistic in every way. A virtual grunt of the digital age, that's just great. That's far more effective than live exercises. You don't get injured in VR, do you? Every year a few soldiers die in field exercises. There's pain sensation in VR, and even a sense of reality and urgency. The only difference is it isn't actually happening. That's the way they want you to think, to remove you from the fear that goes with battle situations. War is a video game. What better way to raise the ultimate soldier? So you're saying that VR training is some kind of mind control? Right. What's going on? The Alpha team from Navy SEAL 10 is dead. No, a single survivor. The kid's wired with nanomachines. What about the president? Looks like they took him somewhere else. I see. You said there was a survivor from SEAL Team 10. Yeah. Lieutenant J.G. Pliskin. Has he seen your face? What? This is a top secret mission. No one can know that we're involved. It's a little too late for that. What's up? Take a look. What the hell? A Navy captain. Give me a few minutes. Must have lost a few more pints than I thought. <laughs> Bryce? What was that man just now? 
that blood sucking freak. That was Vamp. Leon's way cooler than this dude. He's Romanian, a wizard with knives, as you saw. The way he moved didn't seem human. You won't see that in VR, I guarantee. What is he? One of the members of Dead Cell. Dead Cell? Him? A special forces unit created by ex-president George Sears. The name was originally intended to reflect its anti-terrorist functions. The unit would launch unannounced assaults on government complexes for the ultimate terrorism simulation. They were needed to show VR troopers like you how to deal with the real thing. But around the time their original leader died in prison, the unit began to unravel. They were always close to the edge, but they became more and more extreme. They began to go after U.S. allies, even civilians. We you estimate that hat. fewer than a hundred people died as a result of the accidents the dead cell arranged on their own. They were out of control, and it all came to a head six months ago. What happened? The unit was devastated. There are only three left now, and you just saw one of them. Why would they go after the big shell? How should I know? I told you they were on the lunatic fringe. What about their leader? He says he's Solid Snake. Snake died two years ago. Snake's dead? What? You mean the incident that made this big shell necessary in the first place? Right, and he was the one that sank that tanker. But he's a legend. Legends are usually bad news. There's not a lot of difference between heroes and madmen. You're saying Snake is still alive and pulled another one? No, he's not involved in this one. His body was positively ID'd two years ago. Snake is dead. And buried. What about the other soldiers? I saw Russian equipment too. Former Soviet military. They're probably mercenaries. The big shell is too much ground for just dead cell members to hold down. You weren't briefed on any of this? And you came in alone to boot? Why? What are you really doing here? Can't tell me, huh? Fine with me. I don't smoke. Keep it anyway. May come in handy. Just give them smoke since I don't smoke. Take the cigarettes. Take this too. <clears throat> Going to answer him? Snake's like, ah, he's got it, man. You don't need me. The BC connecting bridge. We need to get there. Can you handle it? I need a few more minutes. Remember my frequency. It's 141.80. 141.80. Got it. I've been briefed on this plant's layout. If you need information on the place or about dead cell, contact me. You're using nano communication. <laughs> I don't smoke. Right? Well, you do yeah, now. Patch into your frequency. <laughs> Welcome to war. <laughs> hey, what's your name? Raiden. Raiden. Strange code name. Makes up for the boring one my parents gave me. Maybe I'll find out someday. Now, maybe you will, there, Mr. Snake. Or, I mean, Pliskin. Why would I think that's Snake? Snake's dead. That's totally Pliskin. Alright. So there's a couple funny things you can actually do with Snake here. You can point your gun at him. And then he does that. <laughs> and then uh, I think you can actually... Um, there might be some grenades. Some stun grenades somewhere in here and you can actually knock him out. <laughs> Nah, that, that might be in a different setting, I think. That might be later on. 
<laughs> he's, <laughs> he's totally shit -based. This is a bomb that we will be defusing later, but we can't do anything about it right now. So we'll keep going. Snake sleeping with the fishes, yo. Jack, it's me. Everything okay, Rose? Don't you need to save the mission data? Oh, Don't yeah. I need to what? Thanks for the reminder. What are you talking about? What is this fourth wall breaking crap you're talking about? Save the mission data. Jack, do you remember what day tomorrow is? Oh my tomorrow god, is? here we Back go. Again. I'm sorry, but I still don't have a clue. That's okay. What is it, Rose? Talk to me. I'd rather you figure it out. It's Bryce, GG. How important? Important enough? And we'll talk about it tomorrow. Why not now? Tomorrow seems more appropriate. I need all the help I can get so that I won't chicken out anyway. Is that the reason you decided to be part of this mission? <sighs> Okay. I'm gonna finish this thing by tomorrow. I hear no so matter much what. more about this crap. You know I'll do everything I can to help you. Rose, there's something I need you to do as an analyst. What is it? It has to do with Solid Snake. The leader of this takeover incident is claiming that he's Snake No, they himself. really don't. The legendary mercenary? Hmm. I need as much data on him as possible. Everything they have on him after the Shadow Moses incident. He's dead now, isn't he? Yes. Should be a burial record somewhere too. You should be able to request top-level security clearance from the Colonel. That should get us into the most classified material. I'm on it. I'll contact you as soon as I find out something. Yeah, they, they could care less about the fourth wall in this game. They were like that with the first MGS, and they're like that with the third. And I really played too much of the fourth to find out if they just don't care. Go. This next area is pretty pretty interesting. What's up, Natch? This scene's really cool. <laughs> right, Bryce. <laughs> Press the action button. What the hell is an action button? Today is another bad day. A dirt. Is there anyone here that can give me happiness? Get wrecked. <laughs>
Go splash! Red Bridge. <laughs> I'm so sorry, my beauties. I'll see you again someday. SEAL Team 10's Bravo team was wiped out. I see. What happened to the cargo choppers? Both of them are at the bottom of the harbor. Looks like your new hosts have a Harrier, too. A Harrier? What is this? Calm down. <laughs> it just means they anticipated the attack. What? Besides, since the SEALs drew their fire, your infiltration went off without a hitch. On top of that, we know their defensive capabilities. Are you saying this was all a feint? Raiden, get a hold of yourself. The entire mission is in your hands now. Do you understand? But... There's no time for questions. They could decide to retaliate for that failed assault. You mean the hostages? They could be in danger, yes. But we need to consider the possibility that they'll blow the whole shell. If that toxic spell does take place, it'll devastate not only the harbor, but poison the coastline for generations. <sighs> Raiden. We've had to adjust the mission objectives. Uh, the priority is now on removing those C4s of uh, the terrorists wired over the big shell. Shut the up, child. Do you work? But this can't. Colonel, Colonel, you getting you paid know I'm no bomb disposal expert? That's not a problem. GG the Bravo Net? team brought an explosives pro in with them. He was supposed to stand by on Strut C according to their mission plan. You should find him there. Is this according to simulation 2? What are you talking about? Get to Strut C and find him. <laughs> Understood. But I need to ask you something before I go. Make it quick. Who are they? Dead Cell, I mean. They couldn't hit her no matter how hard they tried. And that vampire, too. It's... it's like... It's like being in a nightmare you can't wake up from. Jack, snap out of it. And you, Rose. I can't believe you're on this mission. I keep thinking I'll wake up. Raiden, this is real. And that's why you won't wake up. But nothing seems real. I've made up my mind to stay with you. Whether this is real or a bad dream, I'll keep watching you till it's over. Thank you, Rose. And I won't let you be just a dream. Are you too oh dumb? Oh my god. Right. You're needed on Strut C. So over his emo crap. Just do your friggin' job. <laughs> Raiden is a little bitch, dude. There's like no way around it. So, let me go grab this stuff real quick and then I gotta head back. What is this? All a dream? What? Yeah, dude, it's totally a dream. I'm sure I'm going the right way. I gotta strut C. Oh no, I needed to go. Oh no, I don't backtrack yet. I thought I was supposed to backtrack. So I need to keep going forward. That way might actually be locked if I remember correctly. And it makes me backtrack somewhere around here. Sob story. <laughs> Just right and being a little bitch about everything. He's like that throughout the entire game too. Oh my god. Really, dude? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Please, please, please. Please don't start this. Please. God damn fucking. Ugh. I didn't get those for a while, and now I'm starting to get them again. That's nice. What's a steam bot? I don't know.
it's fine, Bryce. Don't worry about it, dude. <laughs> it's not like they're putting in ads or anything. Oh, hello. <laughs> pretty much Natch. That's what it comes down to. You just pretty much have fun with them after a point in time. Let me go back. Cutscene. Freeze. Don't shoot. You a cop? I'm not NYPD. I came in with the Bravo team. Who are you with? Nice, and what happened to Seal Team Ten? Thank you, sir. All of them. That's bad. Did I tell you you could move? It's all right. He's not one of the bad guys. Don't go pointing, Don't go pointing that thing everywhere, kid. What's your, name? What's your name? My name? My name is Peter. Peter Stillman. I'm a lecturer at Navscolio at Indian Head. Also a consultant for the NYPD bomb squad. A poor old man who got dragged along for this picnic. I thought you'd retired. I did. Can't keep up with everybody, as you can see. Yeah. A, famous church. A famous church got wiped off the map thanks to me. With too many lives inside. All I lost was this leg. So you're the bomb disposal guy. Kid, this is the bomb disposal guy. Open any explosives disposal textbook and you'll see his name. <laughs> Just ancient history now. Why did they bring you out of retirement then? Because the terrorist group here includes one of my students, the Emperor of Explosives, Fat Man. He built an atomic bomb when he was only 10. I created him in a sense. And that's why you're here. I'm pretty rusty. I was supposed to supervise the bomb disposal. Looks like it was taken care of before I had my turn. I wouldn't say that. There are at least two people here who can claim to be experts at bomb disposal. Are you two with SEAL Team 10? I didn't see you at the mission briefing. Oh, we're with another squad. My name is Pliskin, Lieutenant Junior Grade. Honored to meet you, sir. Mr. Pliskin, do you have any experience with explosives disposal? Don't worry about me. And he looks young, but he can do it. But we need more manpower. I'm, uh... What's your name? Raiden. That's an odd name. <laughs> and the other survivors? Got him. There was also an engineer with me. An engineer? A skinny guy. He went in with us. Where is he? I haven't seen him since that skirmish. Was he killed? I don't think so. I didn't find his body. I see. They told me he was a security systems architect for the big shell. Why would they take a civilian along? Everything in this structure is computer controlled. He was supposed to get us past all the security measures. I never heard of it. It's all about baby that. face. He had official orders <laughs> with him. We'll leave that for later. Right now we need to figure out how to deal with all the bombs. But there's no one left from the SEAL's EOD squad. Yep. So we have to do it ourselves. But I've never defused a bomb before. But I've Hold never on a second. Defused a bomb have to before. confer with the CO wow. again. Glad to hear Stillman is safe. Assist him in any way possible to clear the C4 from the structure. Colonel, you know I've never been trained in bomb disposal. It's all right. The man you're working with is the best in the field. All you have to do is follow his directions. You will, of course, keep your identity and mission objectives to yourself. Is it true that an engineer came in with Stillman? I wasn't informed of that. It's probably something the SEALs decided on their own. Hmm. There are more important issues at hand, Raiden. The enemy may retaliate for the failed assault. Get those C4s neutralized now. Colonel, 
I'm not qualified for bomb disposal. Jack, oh, it's here me. we go. Rose, you can do this. Trust me. You haven't had bomb disposal training per se in VR, but you're more than capable of handling C4. This is a little different from using C4. You're up for this. You know that. How about it, kid? Are the results in yet? There's no need to think about this so much. You won't actually be dismantling the bomb. That's not for amateurs. What we'll try here instead is a temporary freezing measure. Here, look at this. Can I ban Rose? <laughs> this is a C4 bomb. It's live. You can see it. Ban Raiden from talking. You spray this on the sucker and there we go. Simple, huh? The spray freezes the detonator instantly. How long does the effect last? There's no way the thing can detonate in this condition. Even if you leave it alone, it'll stay out of commission for at least 24 hours. That's enough time. If we had the manpower, I'd recommend complete disposal. But this will have to do. The spray can be used from several yards away. Now check the floor, ceiling, walls, under a table, everywhere. Try to imagine the locations the bomber would choose. That won't be easy. We don't know a thing about Fat Man. Is there Fat anything Man. that'll help us locate the bombs? Here, take this with you. It's what they call an ion mobility spectrometer. It can recognize ionized gas emitted by C4s. The what? In other words, that little gadget sniffs out C4's scent. That's right. I've established a link up with your radar network, so any scent detected will be represented visually. Have the sensor activated and keep your eye on the radar. What if he's using some other odorless substance? I know Fat Man well. I know how into his own aesthetics he is. Signatures? Yes. On every bomb he builds, he always leaves a trace of the cologne he uses. The sensor also picks up that particular scent spectrum. Is that something he learned from you? No, it was his own quirk. He wouldn't work by any rules except his own. And he followed them like a religion. And common sense wasn't one of his strong points. I thought I taught him everything I knew. I have no children of my own, and I thought I found a son in him. He had the right stuff, you know. There's something very unusual about an ability like that. Even at Indian Head, he got special treatment. I remember some people called him one of the fat cats. <laughs> Maybe that's what started all this. I didn't teach him the most important thing I had to tell him. There are some things you have to pass on. The trick is to know which one. Right. All I taught him was skills. And now I have to stop him from using it to destroy us all. Let's see how well that sensor works. All right. I'm activating him. Watch. You see the green stuff on the radar? That's a visual representation of the C4 scent detected by the sensor. It's a pretty big area, isn't it? Don't complain. It's better than nothing. Just activate the sensors and search the area, okay? All right. Don't Quit your forget bitching, that right? you need Jesus. the radar to use the system. Log into the node at every strut and turn the radar on. We have to keep out of the enemy's sight, too. Because the radar gets knocked offline when we're spotted? Exactly. Fat Man would have allotted some C4s here in Strut C as well. Here? I know the structure of this facility, and if he wants to take out the plant, where he would target. You know this for sure? Of course. I taught him the techniques he uses. His ideas are based on my theories. Demolition is a kind of ideology. It makes no exceptions for time or place. Big Shell consists of two hexagons joined in on in, north to south. There should be packets of C4s on each of the vertices, or the struts in this case. You need at least that to take a building of disintegrity out. Hmm. Six on shell one, another six on shell two, a total of 12 bombs at least. Considering the shell's oh, yeah. architecture and composition from an engineering standpoint, well, I'll that's open it up. Conclusion, and it's exactly what he would have decided as well. I think you need an invite, Natch, into mine.
Kid, this place is all yours. I'll take care of Shell, too. Take this. What's in this? That? Security card issued to Shell personnel. The Big Shell security layout includes varying levels of clearance. The clearance level is identified by the number printed on these doors. Ryden, your card key can open doors with security clearance level one. Pliskin, your card can get you into level three areas. You needed to get next door to Shell two. How did you get this? That engineer I told you about gave it to me. He was supposed to program a set of all access cards once we were on site. Unfortunately, this card won't get you into every area of this structure. We'll have to deal with the remaining security lockouts as they come up. Let's get going. You stay here. No, I'm going. The two of us can handle it, don't worry. But... You'll just slow us down with that leg of yours. There's a war going on here. I don't have time to babysit anymore. Why don't you just let us handle the grunt work? You can tell us what to do over the radio, like in the original mission plan. All right. I'll give you instructions from here. I may also need to prepare a backup plan just in case. In case of what? Good luck to both of you. This is a dangerous one. Who dares wins. If anything comes up, let me know. My frequency is 140.25. I know. <laughs> I'll see you later. It's the greatest thing Server about I. my Discord server. That man's no seal. <laughs> Jay said the same thing. <laughs> I don't even think he's a Navy man. What? Simplify. Marine Corps talk. Then Atch said Kappa. <laughs> Normally, team leaders stay in the CP what? and give orders with those headphones. And as far as I know, SEALs keep their offices away happen? from the field. And Who Dares Wins is a model of the British Special Air Service. Is he one of the terrorists then? No, somehow I don't think so. If there's someone to suspect, I'd put my money on you. Then Atch said, "Lock and load, motherfucker." Just take care of those bombs for now. What about you? They could be back in this area soon. I'll hide out in this place for a while. How the hell did you do that? If I lock the door, it should be all right. Plenty of food in here too, so you don't need to worry about me. I'll give you instructions by code. Oh my here. god. <laughs> Good luck, kid. I didn't know you could do voice chat. That's amazing. Town. Don't let the or voice to detect. Take. When you give in to the fear, the darkness comes. <laughs> oh man. That's freaking hilarious. Oh, okay. Really? Oh, I love Discord. Oh, Discord is the best, dude. <laughs> oh, man. That's funny. <laughs> Pocket load, motherfucker. That's pretty good. Alright. Uh, we're finally out of cutscene percent here, so uh, we can move on to the next mission, which is defusing the bombs. We already know where one is, is back in that other room you're we at. The other one is right over here. I believe, yeah, right there. Raiden here. I took care of the C4 in Strut C. The ceiling of the women's bathroom was set to blow. 
That's not like him. Anything wrong? Maybe. Pliskin's reported other locations, too. And none of them are effective demolition points. What do you mean? It means that they wouldn't be the best places to choose if you wanted to destroy this place. Are you saying they don't plan on blowing the shell up? It certainly seems that way. So far, we haven't seen anything but a waste of good explosives. Unless, of course, we're missing something. A trap? He couldn't have overlooked the fact that I would be called into this. There's something going on. There's something going on, man. Something's up with these... You see four. Stillman. You slipped up, dude. You're already screwed. Ah! Almost got caught. Gotta look out for these guys. Um, I don't have my radar for this area yet. So. Oh, wait, I think the node was actually in there, wasn't it? Yeah, it should be. I think the note is in this room. Oh god, there's a guy over there? Well, rip everything to shreds. And now I can't access that until they go away. Dude, I completely forgot there'd be a guy there. Oh, these guys gotta die. Something over there. Shit. Shit. Stop moving. Stop moving. Look at that flip he just did. He's out, nerd. Oh, I'm getting shot a lot. That's bullshit. Oh well. Ah, he saw me. I should just start over. Just let myself die. I walk out of the room of that building for like two seconds and there's already guys in there. Just didn't even see them coming. Move. That flash grenade ain't doing shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna start over. Fucking kill me. I don't care. <laughs> Ned! You made your way into the quote bot, dude. You don't remember saying that? Right. You What's said it! Right. Right. I believe that was a quip last night. Alright, so whatever. I'll have to eat that. Goddamn quote bot, dude. Pick new goddamn quotes. I'm about over this bot, man. It just does the same freaking quotes over and over. All right, so that takes care of that one. I think there actually is one more down in the uh, down in the first room that we came into. Um, I don't have my Trent gun. That's that's what sucks here. So there's a guy here. I don't think there's a guy inside where Snake was. Oh, I'm sorry, Pliskin. I don't know why I keep confusing him with Snake. I mean, who does that? <laughs> True. At least that isn't happening. 
It's not random bands. What's up, dude? Oh, damn it. No two self. Don't come off of the railing and jump on it. Damn it. Everybody gets bad. <laughs> Just gonna hide out in here. Security. So we got that regular guy over there. I want to say there's one. I don't know if. I don't know if that last bomb that's in the first area is is there already. It might. It might not be till later. Yeah, I don't think so because the elevator's not up. So let me head back. Yeah, some of them are uh, coming up. The bot just doesn't cycle through the old ones enough. There, there actually is one in here, that I, now that I remember it. to crawl around to get to it. I don't care dude I'd like to see some new quotes so you can flood it I, I don't care he needs to stop with the old ones that we've already heard uh, let me get out that other one yeah oh right, yeah so it's over here I know that shut up I don't care there it is good thing I remember all this Get out of here, tentacle nerds! This is Raiden. The C4 found in strut A has been frozen and disposed of. Explosives were planted in the pump room on the first floor. This is all wrong. This is something only an amateur would do. What do you mean? All the bombs that have been found so far don't appear to be in the right kind of locations. <laughs> and the quantity of explosives isn't sufficient either. Even Fat Man can make mistakes, right? No, there's something else going on here. Get a move on with the disposal, right? I've got a bad feeling about this. Do you think it's a trap? I don't know, but I'm gonna tell Pliskin to watch his back. <laughs> it does. Just hurry. Those are the best quotes, though. All right, so I think there's how many left? I think it said two. Actually, it says on the map there's three left. I know where one of them is specifically. And it's on the top of the roof of, I think it's E. Actually, I think there's something over here. No. Never mind. Uh, there's something over there. Let's see what that is. 
It's so calm. Um, nah, I'm good. Nah, that's the roof. What am I doing? There we go. Got a sentry. And one guy. I'm gonna wait for him to go down to the next level, and then it should be good to cross. Come on. Alright, there it goes. Oh no! You came up too quick! Oh, nice, Bryce. What? Oh, he came up from behind me. Shit. At the train. Uh, I should be streaming for a little bit more. I think I'll probably go till about 7 or 7.30. Out, nerd. Return to your positions. Increase security. Um, is this the right one? I know there's another duck somewhere in one of these rooms that takes. Well, I know that takes me up to the next hallway. I need to get to the node, though. I don't like this way because once I pop out, I'm out in the middle of the, of the open. There we go. <laughs> Alright, Bryce. If not, we'll be doing more of this, hopefully throughout the week. I only plan on probably streaming this for a few days because I can get through it pretty quickly. It's a level three. Yeah, I don't like this area at all. This area sucks. Until I get a node. That guy's gonna see me. There's nope. Nobody's here. Nobody's here. Go away. Hmm. <laughs> hey, buddy. And you too. Alright, I gotta be quick because I think they get radioed. Uh, there's nothing else over there. Key card. Um, I'm gonna drop down. I think they can drop down here, right? I know where the bomb is. Might as well just do that now. It's right here. Yeah, they're getting radioed, so I gotta hurry. Ah, damn it. There's the node. Alright, Bryce. Catch you later, man. Get in there, hurry!
you nerds? Alright. There's a duck. Another box. Right here. Which takes me to the other room. Which I think has some goodies in it. This should be the SOCOM suppressor. Nice. So now I can uh, kill and silence. Nothing here. Uh, that's the mine detector. I will need that at some point. Thank you. Now I just need to make my way out of here. I already got the bomb. Let reinforcements go. On the suppressor. Oh shit! Ah, uh, rookie mistakes. Don't, don't look. Oh, what an idiot! On the second floor, so I'm gonna worry about him. These other guys I do have to worry about. Should be good. Nice. So that could have been a lot worse. remember this guy here we can't take him out or at least put him to sleep there we go and I think that takes care of that and then I just need a mine detector uh, is that a weapon or did I just miss it Yeah, there it is. Yes, I know. I know. I'm spoiling. Be careful. There are Claymore mines around there. Who is this? Stealth equipped Claymore mines. Invisible naked eye. Use the mine detector. Identify yourself. Just call me Deep Throat. Deep Throat? You mean from Shadow Moses? Mr. X, then. Mr. X now, is it? Why would it matter if I called you Deep Throat? Never mind about that. Why did you contact me? Let's just say I'm one of your fans. <laughs> Colonel, someone calling himself Mr. X just contacted me. Do you know anything about it? No, and whoever it was, it wasn't a burst transmission. The transmission was sent from within the big shell. He called himself Deep Throat at first. Do you think? I caught that part too. But the possibility of it being true is none. Gray Fox was the one who used that alias in Shadow Moses, and he's dead. Is it an enemy trap? Could be. Exercise extreme caution. Extreme caution. So here we just crawl and we'll pick up the mines.
Thank you. Alright. Alright, two more. And that'll take care of the explosives. More calls. Jack, do you remember the day we met? I'm kind of busy right now. <sighs> You're right. Sorry. I do remember. It was right after I transferred to New York. There are all these tourists around you in front of the Federal Hall. A group of middle-aged Japanese ladies came up and asked me which building it was that King Kong was climbing in the movie. I said it was probably the Chrysler building. And then you showed up and started mouthing off. You were like, no, it's the Empire State. I said the Chrysler building was in Godzilla. <laughs> we started we'll arguing keep going. and I forgot all right about back. the tourists. I was insisting that I was right and you were doing the same. The next thing we knew, the Japanese women had gone away. And we ended up going to the Skyscraper Museum to see who had the better recall. We argued all the way to Battery Park. And for nothing. Since the museum was closed, we went our separate ways from the museum. And then I found you again by coincidence out in the base corridor. An amazing coincidence that we were actually working at the same place. That night we went up to the top of the Empire State. It was so beautiful. I could look down on the Chrysler building from 120 stories above ground. I felt overwhelmed. I didn't care anymore who was right. And that was our first date. We watched King Kong in your apartment a bunch of times that night. Didn't sleep till morning. Mm. If it weren't for that coincidence, we wouldn't be together. I know. I'm sorry, Jack. I'm taking up your time again. What? Take care. Well, that was awfully fishy. What? Take care. Alright, so there is a node somewhere in here. Oh, just gotta find it. It's a guy on patrol. Oh, get away. I think it's over in the top right corner, if I remember. He's got guys to worry about here. Yep, yeah, there it is. Nope, just me getting a cardboard box. There's nobody here. Alright, so there's a guy there. Up top. And then I think there might be a sentry on this one. And we made it. Perfect timing. This room's a little tricky because there are uh, they have radio communication. So if I do this, I have to do it quickly. Same with this guy here. Oh, I should have waited for him to radio in. Crap. Hi there. It, the bomb is under one of these um, panels. That I do remember. Uh, and the node is, I believe, on the next level down, so I need to hurry. Let's 
Let's hurry. Let's hurry. This is Raiden. Disposal of the C4 in strut D is complete. Explosives were planted on the maintenance hatch. Good work. Only one more left to go. This is Pliskin. Do you read me, Pete? I'm here. What's up? Raiden, you need to hear this too. I'm listening. I checked out the bottom of strut H for you, Pete. Wait, what's this about? I asked Pliskin to look around. Knowing Fat Man, I can't shake the feeling that all the bombs so far were just wrong. So did you find anything? Yeah, a hell of a lot of C4s packed into the bottom of the strut. Pete called it right. I knew he had the real thing up his sleeve. So all the other ones were dummies? No, they're a threat, all right. But the detonation wouldn't be enough to destroy the entire shell. But the C4s Pliskin found would inflict serious structural damage. That's not the bad news, either. These are sensor-proof. What? New model, I guess. The ionization sensor can't detect them. The whole thing is sealed tight to prevent vapor leak, and there's no trace of that cologne signature. Pete, looks like he fooled you. Yes. But you managed to find the thing anyway. It was sheer luck. Bombs that are invisible to the sensor? Any ideas, Pete? Are there more out there? I will see for myself. You can't move fast enough. He's right. I can try the spray from a distance. Hold on. There's something not right about this one. I can feel it. Well, Pete, should I come back and get you? No, there's no need. Raiden, you have one left to go, correct? Right, except for those scentless ones. How about you, Pliskin? I have two left, not counting this one. Okay. It'll have to be me. I have the level four card that'll get me into shell two in any case. You'll never make it. With that bad leg of yours, they'll spot you for sure. That won't happen. I... I can walk just fine. I can even run. Uh, what do you mean? That bomb, five years ago, I messed up. Even with all my experience, I lost it. And the church was lost in the explosion. All those kids playing nearby, too. These past five years, I've lived a lie. Lied? Yes, lied. I didn't lose my leg in the explosion. Uh, so many dead. All because of my mistake. All I could think about was hiding from the crime, shielding myself from the public outcry. I wanted people to be sorry for me, for my weakness. I faked being a victim myself because I couldn't bear to face the families of the real victims. This is no prosthetic. I can keep my footing on catwalks and hike over deserts. I lived my life so well I haven't even answered to myself for my sins. It was supposed to be a shield become a shroud instead. I've killed my soul by playing the victim. Instead of protecting me, it's made my life even more hellish. What good can that do the victims? I know. I'm a coward. Hey, Pete. God forgive me. I can walk with my own two feet, and I need them to stop Fat Man. His crimes are also mine. One of omission and arrogance. No one should teach the skills I taught him without a clear conscience. This is the only way I can defuse my own sins. I get you, Pete. That one's all yours. You got it, Raiden? I understand. Pete, I've taken care of guards in struts G and H of Shell 2. I wouldn't recommend you go into any of the other struts. I owe you one. I'll get back to freezing the baby bombs, then. You do that too, Raiden. I'm on it. I'll have the radio with me if you need to get in touch. Just don't ask for peg leg Peter. He's gone for good. All right, we got an on delay here. Um, I never found the node. I forgot where the hell it was. I thought it was over there. I think it's actually on this side. There it is. Oh, it is like really dark in here. Hold on a sec. There we go. It was nothing. 
Yeah, blah, 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 blah. To hurry. Go, 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 go. Alright, just barely made it. Get in here yet? Uh, let's go this way. Oh wait, hold on. It's not this way. stairs leading up. I think it's over to the right actually. Yep, there it is. Totally missed it. Cutscene! I've taken care of that annoying fly. What's the situation over there? Puzzling. I saw a man dressed like a ninja just now. Ninja? It's the only way to describe it. A kind of cyborg ninja complete with a sword. What? Are you hiding something from me? Don't be a fool. Think I wouldn't know the difference? I've never seen field gear like that ever. All right. We'll intensify patrols. Anything else? Actually, one more thing. You'll find it hard to believe, though. I saw a man hiding under a cardboard box. Where? On the connecting bridge to Shell 2. <sighs> so you believe me this time? I've seen someone use that box trick before. We'll lay a trap on the Shell 2 connecting bridge. Over and out, then. Freeze! You must be one of dead cell. Of course not. What a thing to say. Drop your gun. Not a chance. A female soldier, Russian, must be Olga Gerlukovich. How do you know? Unlike you, I've been briefed. She's not a dead cell? No, she commands a Russian private army. They must be the ones patrolling the big shell. That's right. She's led the group ever since her old man, Colonel Gerlukovich, died. Watch yourself with her. She's a tough one. All right. <clears throat> There's one guy up here. Two actually, but they won't be a problem. I already know where the bomb is and they don't go over in this area. And it should be under this plane actually. There it is. And that's the final one. I have the last C4 frozen. There's nothing showing up on the sensor now. Good work, Raiden. You're way ahead of me, kid. I still have one to go. How's your bomb, Peter? It's a bomb, all right. Sealed C4 and in huge quantities. 
You think there's another one in Shell 1? For sure. Somewhere at the bottom of Strut A. Why are you so certain? If this bottom section of the strut is demolished, Shell 2 will be well on its way to destruction. You mean that Shell 2 will actually sink? Not immediately. There'll still be five struts left. But if Shell 1 loses a strut at the same time, it'll be a very different story. The big shell's structural integrity depends on a very exact balance. If both shells lose a strut each, the whole structure will tear itself apart under its own weight. What do we do? I have a sensor that can locate even those scentless C4s. It makes combined use of a neutron scintillator and a hydrogen bomb detector. You brought that stuff with you? Of course. I made the calibrations while I was in the pantry. Does it work? I just tested it, and it definitely responds. But the best I can do is a sound beacon, not the radar. Sound? The shorter the interval between beacons, the closer the target. I get you. There's another one in that pantry I was in. You can go back and get it. It's all yours, right? I'm going to study it some more and see if the freezing process will work. Don't touch the other one until I say so. Okay. I'll stand by until you radio in. <clears throat> Alright, one sec. Oh, what? Come on, man. Can I defuse a bomb in peace? Jesus. Get wrecked. Ah, oh, damn it. So stupid. Every time I get seen, it's just dumb. Like they didn't even give me enough time to get up off the damn ground. Wait a minute, do I have to defuse that again? Where does it put me at? Oh, I gotta do this again. Yay. Alright, so I know I need to hurry the F up. I didn't think he ever came around that side, so whatever. Come on. Oh my god. Dude, lay down, please. Thank you. There we go. I have the last. I thought the healing or the bleeding would stop. I guess not, if you sit still. Whatever. I think it'll eventually stop. Bleeding. There we go. And we're back. So I gotta head back to C and get the other mine detector mm -hmm. that I don't necessarily need. But I'm probably going to need it for story related reasons. Um. 
Um, they may have reset the mines. Nope. Bad. Ooh, I need to hurry. That guy will come looking out over the balcony. Alright, we're good. Why did I go this way again? Should've went the other way. It's alright. Nothing here. Hey, welcome back, Jim. Uh, I can take out this sentry if I can find it. Or no, I could probably just get away. Oh no! Sorry, dude, you gotta die. You should have stayed down there. <clears throat> welcome back. I just ate a sandwich. It was delicious. Put it in the wrong one. <laughs> Somebody in Discord. Alright, there we go. I wonder if it'll let me go defuse that bomb without that detector. I don't think it will. Unfortunately. me do it just for story reasons because I think there might be a cutscene when I pick it up. Oh crap. take this damn thing out so it doesn't get me this time. Come on. Oh, did it actually go below this time? Huh. Last time it went up immediately. Go, 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 go! That was close. I never did get the node because I got chased out of here. So I know there's a guy behind that corner. So I can lure him over. He might not be in there this time. Nope. in there. Ooh, there's a ration. We get that. There we That's what I thought. Peter, 
I have sensor B. Good. Head to the bottom of strut A. How's your invisible bomb? I'm looking at it, but I'm keeping my distance. How's Pliskin doing? A few more minutes. I just got to the last strut, but there are a few enemy sentries I have to take care of. Does it look bad, Peter? Maybe. It's an odd one. <clears throat> the detonator hasn't been activated. What? But the sensors are live. Which means... <laughs> Jim? This is Pliskin. I've located the last C4. Is that it? I'm about to freeze it. Then... Wait! Pliskin! It. What's going on? The detonator just woke up. It's counting down. What happened? The big ones were rigged to be activated when all the baby C4s went offline. Right. The one in shell one should be counting down too. Hurry! What's the remaining time? 400 seconds. 400 seconds? Right. Move. Get to the bottom of strut A now. Da da da. So yeah, the C4 was a ruse the whole time. The uh, the C4s that we detonated, <clears throat> I'm sorry, not detonated, but dismantled. Um, once they all got turned off at the same time, then it initiated the final two that were connecting to the main struts. So Fat Man did us dirty. Is she break dancing? A clever ruse. <laughs> okay. Normally this part would suck because you don't exactly know where in strut A it is. But luckily I remember. So I've already replaced this guy with another. <laughs> Let's blow it and head to Hawaii. <laughs> nah, these people don't need to live. We'll just let the entire environment go to waste. Environment's already screwed. Hawaii sounds nice, though. And down we go. Go. Go down. Thank you. Cutscene. Right, Bliskin. Listen carefully. What is it? I fell for it. Fell for what? That man has my number. A proximity trigger. Microwave. M microwave. With a seven-foot range. It's not a technique I taught him. Neither was that multi-bomb booby trap. Looks like he's far surpassed me as far as explosives technique goes. As for the rest... Pete, get the hell out of there. There's less than 30 seconds left. It's too late. No! Pliskin, get away from Strut H as fast as you can. Pete! Right! Keep your distance. Use the spray from as far away as possible. Me? You can do it. I know that. I'm not so sure. But I am. Do it. I know you can. Well, Rip Stillman, you got got. Poor guy. It's right over here. Got it. Colonel, I've neutralized the bomb. Good work, Ryden. It was a great loss for everyone. Yes, it was. 
Colonel, any damage report on the explosion? Seems that the duct for diverting the contaminated seawater was destroyed, and the central section of Shell 2 is flooding. The explosions ignited the oil slick on the surface. What about the toxins? The chemicals stayed in containment. There's no immediate danger. Is the big shell stable? Shell 1 was unaffected. The price was high. But the threat of the bomb is over for now. What's the next objective? Rescue the President. Get back to the upper level. Roger <clears> that. <throat> okay. See if that ration is still over there. They might have replenished it. Ah, uh, no, they took it. Yeah, that's fine. So I could use an extra one right now. Oh, let me see. Uh, I can't see. Yeah, the ration's gone. Down to three, and my health is low, but I should be okay. This next, this next section's uh, tricky. Right, the terrorists have retaliated for our bomb neutralization. What? A hostage has been killed, shot in the head. They shot one of them on the roof just to make sure we caught it. One of our satellites caught it clear as day. Damn. They announced they would kill one every hour from now on. What are my orders? What should I do? Stay with your mission objective. Rescue the President. What about the other hostages? President Johnson is your first priority. Priority my butt. They're all my in danger. Butt. Jack, be reasonable. I know what you're feeling, but you can't save them all. No, not by myself. Are you expecting that Pliskin to come through? Well, looks like he's turned his radio off too. I can't complete this mission by myself. That man was not included in the simulation. He is not a factor in this mission. What do you mean by that, Colonel? Your mission must remain a solo effort. What about the SEALs? No second attempt? They haven't even gotten to planning that. All we can do is wait. In the meantime, you're our only hope. I understand. Raiden, go and rescue the President. You can start off by getting to the upper level of Strut A. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quit your whining, right in. But not before a little old visit. Good old fortune. I can't tell you how happy I am that you were alive after all. I knew this moment would come. Show yourself and finish me. Like you finished off my father. What? Otherwise, you'll be the one to die. Oh, crap. Fires of hell, haven't you? Maybe you can give me death. My name is Fortune, lucky in war and nothing else. And without a death to call my own. Hurry, kill me, please. Eh, yeah, we'll work on that, but won't get your hopes up. So, you can't kill her, you just have to survive, which sounds easy and all, but can you see the size of this gun? It's ridiculous. So, we're just gonna do a little dance in here. Oh god! Oh, not like 
like this. Don't hit the barrels. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> My butt. <laughs> right, Fat Man just contacted us directly. Fat Man called us. Yes. Looks like he placed a bomb on the heliport. He specifically asked for you, Right. What? He's killed off Peter. Now he's after you. Why me? How should I know? Look. How should I know? Really not a good time for this. The countdown's already begun, Right. Great. How much time do I have left? I'll show you the count. 400 seconds remaining. So he's planning on taking this place out. I gotta take like this call. Hold on. <laughs> what about backup? None. There's no so time. good. Which What's up, Explos? Is it? He didn't say. Hold on. I'm getting blasted by this lightning gun. Let me just take this phone call real quick. Load. I'll take over, Queen. What is it? It seems our friend Fat Man is out of control. He'll actually try to destroy this place? Yes, this could unravel everything we've planned. But why would he do such a thing? Who knows? But he's nothing more than a I know, it's always 400 seconds. Now. He's completely lost sight of our ideals. And with it, there's a reason why. Commander Jax. You'll find out later. All right, I'll take care of the wayward soul. Well, it's always a very specific time. It wasn't him. Unfortunate. I expected more of this one, real. But he couldn't kill you, I see. Completely useless. Then he's all mine. Later, then. Now. was meant for me why am I the only one that can't die alone again cheated out of death again <laughs> how long will you force me to live how much longer dad you punish me enough It's like, I'm just gonna sneak on out of here. Nothing else to see here. I thought, you I thought you could give me peace. But you couldn't kill me either. <laughs> it's been real. It's 
Spoiler alert. He's not dead. He's a freaking vampire. Vampires don't die. There's no need for sorrow, Queen. I died once already. Damn. I can't die twice. <laughs> yeah, he's from four. I mean, his name is Vamp. You can't kill a guy named Vamp. It's just impossible. I don't care for your minds. <laughs> I just walked right over it. <laughs> oh, that was great. Oh, hey! Just noticed you're standing there. You didn't see me on the stairs. What's up, dude? Oh, nice, Explod. You started practicing? Sweet. What's great about Gun Vault is it'll take you, like, maybe a day or two to learn the route, and then you're, you pretty much got it. Uh, they changed, they changed the route, but I still need to go to the right. Awesome, dude. Can't wait till you start running it. Be good to have somebody else running the game besides myself. I forgot to turn the camera back on. Hey there. Sixteen and a fourteen? Damn, that's it's already pretty good. For just starting out. I don't recommend watching um, the world record run because it'll probably kill your eyes. <laughs> if you can uh, stomach watching the run off a of video recorder, recording if somebody playing the 3DS, which is Zulus, the run itself is really good, but it's hard to see what he's uh, exactly doing. There's been a little bit better submitted runs since then that you can probably watch over. Mm -hmm. GG Exploud. Alright, that guy is still gone, I think. They may have put the mines back out, so let me see. No, mines are gone. That guy did come back though. Yeah. <laughs> you thought Shovel Knight had some bad RNG. Just wait till you get to learn the RNG of the bosses, man. They can be a nightmare. The the movement in like all the stages, yeah, it's it's pretty much perfect movement. Your whole run is gonna come down to the RNG of the bosses, whether or not you're gonna get a good run or not. I mean it sucks. But uh, luckily, the run so quickly that if it doesn't work out, you can reset or um, you just go for another run. All right, here comes Batman. Train boss takes the longest so to learn. But once you learn it, it's it's not so bad. The RNG that'll kill you the most is school and uh, and tower. School and tower. If you get good RNG, then you know you got a good run. But yeah, the train one takes the longest to learn, just because you have to know his movements. Life is short. 
bombs tell the time with every moment of their existence, and nothing else announces its own end with such a fanfare. Glad you could make it. The party's about to start. Yum. Good year. Let's drink the Stillman, shall we? If you destroy the big shell, you'll never collect your ransom. Ransom? What are you talking about? Thirty billion dollars in cash. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what's going on. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> oh, you'll know soon enough. And I could care less what they plan to do. My ambitions are much more simple. To be the most famous bomber of them all. You're nuts. No one's gonna give a damn about you. Oh, yes, they will. I'll go down in history as the man who beat Peter Stillman. That's the only reason I assisted them. Like hell you beat Stillman. He had your number. What did you say? You have nothing of his courage. <laughs> or... <laughs> what are you laughing at? That croc died a dishonorable death six months ago. Six months ago. The liquidation of Dead Cell. Call it what you want. Only the right stuff survived that hell. Set me free, you know. Open the way to a new dimension. Hey, Buffet. Thanks for the host, so dude. Appreciate the it. Among detonation devotees. You're nothing but a common criminal, and that's the only way people will ever remember you. Oh, dear you. I'm an artist. That is why I dislike boorish military types. It's time to start the party. This is how it works. I plant a bomb, and it'll explode soon after that. If you prefer to stay in one piece, you'll have to disable my bombs. Laugh and grow fat. Let's move! Alright, so... This fight can be annoying. But it's kind of fun to do. Because you're basically having to defuse the bombs. And in a very short period of time. And then after you defuse the bombs, you have to... Attack that while he's trying to kill you. <laughs> so luckily those were two good spots to start off on. Now I gotta find out where he went. Uh, there he is. Damn it! It's better just to uh, not even aim for him. Just hope that I the auto aim gets them. One more. Uh, hopefully it's on this side. Where do you put it? Thunderbolt. Hold on, Buffet. I'll be able to read that in just a sec. And then once I knock him down, a very short period to shoot him right in the head. And that's how you do it. Got him again. Careful on the edge. There we go. I didn't even shoot faster. Shoot him off the edge. 
That'd be awesome. Oh.